Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being with us here tonight. I'm Paula Grohn. We begin here at 530 with the new questions now facing Governor Ron DeSantis as supplies of the vaccine struggle to keep up with demand. Some are now accusing the state of Florida of setting up vaccination sites in affluent communities, leaving other populations out. And tonight, a Tampa Bay congressman is now calling for a federal investigation. Tonight, Rebecca Petit is tracking these new developments. COVID vaccination community events are popping up around the Bay Area. Just last week, Governor Ron DeSantis announced a senior living community vaccination pod in Manatee County, but its highly selective location has been met with controversy. For this commissioner to say that she was going to limit it to these two um, zip codes that happen to be in the wealthiest part of Manatee County, that happens to be developed by a donor to the governor, it was disheartening. Congresswoman Michelle Rayner Goldsby represents District 70, which covers largely minority communities within Manatee. According to the Florida Department of Health, nearly 33,000 white people in Manatee have been vaccinated, compared to about 800 black people. The coronavirus affects, disproportionately affects black and brown folks. And a lot of our essential workers and frontline workers are black and brown people. And so it is vitally important that we make sure that they have equitable access. Goldsby is working with the governor to get a vaccination site in her district. However, Representative Charlie Crist is now calling for the Department of Justice to investigate whether DeSantis is establishing distribution sites that benefit his political allies. We're all suffering for it. So we all should be helped from it by our leaders, by our governor in this instance. And that's not happening. So I think an appropriate investigation is more than warranted. It's essential. However, we're learning that not everyone who lives in a senior living community that's been selected can get the vaccine. 64-year-old Jonathan Klink has pre-existing conditions and was told his community in Trinity will only be giving the vaccine to those 65 and older. There's a lot of people out there, whether they're age one or 101, who are scared to death. And I just think everybody has to be addressed openly, collectively, and with care, empathy, and optimism. ABC Action News will continue to press state leaders on the DOJ probe and to the vaccination sites. I'm Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.